Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Zeke the Crypto Miner, and today I'm bringing you another video. Today is about credit card turning. This is gonna be my very first time uh, turning a credit card and growing, and I'm also going to be doing a challenge trying to grow my credit score to a perfect 800. And if it could go above 800, I'm gonna try it right. Uh, I'm going to try for that. So let's go ahead and get straight into the video. All right, YouTube, we're back. If we take a look at my credit card, the credit card that I did pick up was the Wells Fargo Propel card. It is an amazing starter card. It's an amazing card if you bank with Wells Fargo. Um, some of the benefits of this card, if you spend $3,000 within the first three months, um, you get 30,000 points uh, that you can use for cash back or travel. I'm going to be using it for flights so uh, to take a vacation in summer this is why a lot of people credit card turn they sign up they get the bonuses and then they just keep the card open or they close the card after they use those bonuses but i'm going to be trying to grow my credit score uh for a new credit card owner from an okay score to a great score for the next time i apply for the chase sapphire card i'll get approved um, some of the benefits of the Propel card, some of the benefits of this card that I'm really taking advantage of is that um, if you buy your phone with this card, um, you have a $600 um, insurance on your phone. So if your phone gets lost or stolen or damaged, uh, you just make a claim with Wells Fargo and then they'll reimburse you $600 for any damage to your phone or a lost phone. So if you have a phone for $600, they're pretty much replace it for free and you could do this uh, twice a year. Or if you have any damage to your phone, like a camera get uh, defected or anything like that, Wells Fargo will cover that. So that's, uh, I actually did use that on this phone already. Uh, the sensor, the front face sensor on my phone had went out, so uh, I used that. So that's one of the benefits for this card. I get three points for the gas, two points for um, groceries, and then a point for everything else that I spend. I'm almost at the $3,000 in the first three month limit. And once I do that, I am going to officially reach the $30,000 bonus, and then I'm going to start looking for flights in the summertime that I could take and try to find some cheap flights in the summertime. So uh, this journey for me has been amazing so far. It's pretty cool, all the benefits. If I go to a rental car place and I rent a car for $40 and then they try to charge me $50 a day for insurance on a car, I don't have to do that because it's all covered with the Wells Fargo. If I purchase that um, rental car with my Wells Fargo uh, credit card, the Propel card, I have insurance on that car so I don't have to actually pay the 50 extra dollars on the $40 rental car, you know what I'm saying? So I could just uh, use my credit card to check out that actual car and then uh, that insurance would be covered by the credit card. Um, some other things are reimbursed also on the credit card, but uh, I'm gonna go over those details. I will do a full review over the Wells Fargo Propel card in a future video. I did an unboxing on this card maybe a week ago. If you guys wanna go check that out, it was pretty cool. It was super dramatic. Lots of uh, music and sound effects. Uh, I'll probably leave a link to that right here. You can just click on that and um, go check out that video. It's pretty cool. But um, if we go over to my Credit Karma, let's pull up my Credit Karma. Right here it says um, I'm up 18 points. And my credit score is 712. I think that's pretty good. You know, it's pretty good. The only thing about my credit is that um, my whole life I've been an athlete. I was blessed enough to go play uh, professional football. So a lot of the times I spent uh, cash or debit or money that I actually had. I never actually had to spend money I didn't have. So I never really had a credit card. So my credit history is bad because I don't have a lot of credit, but my credit score is still 712. So I'm gonna to continue to grow this. If we take a look at my credit health of the last three months, I just got this car. So it's been at 709, it's been hanging around 709 for forever. And then when I actually applied for the card, I think I applied for a Chase Sapphire card in this card at the same time, which hurts my score. It went down 15 points to 694. And then now on August 26, 2019, my uh, credit score is 712. And if we're looking at the credit health, 
712 is pretty good. It says good, okay? Uh, 640s is okay, 580s is ah, uh, and then the 300s is ah, uh, alright. <laughs> 750 to 850 on uh, Credit Karma is, it says that is uh, above awesome, it's great, and right now I'm just at good. I want to actually use this card until I get to great. And then once I get the great, I'll be applying for more credit cards once I get the hang of it and get those sign-up bonuses and then, you know, try to travel the world or have another credit card pay for my hotels. Um, one of the ways that I'm going to actually grow this from 712 to 800 is that um, I have a $10,000 limit on this actual credit card on the uh, Wells Fargo Propel card. And I, I read that if you use 10% of your limit in a month, and then pay that off fully, then your credit it actually boosts your credit card score faster. So if I have a $10,000 limit, 10% um, would be $1,000. So if I spend uh, $1,000 on my card uh, every single month and then pay that off, that's an average of $12,000 a year. That's pretty much the price of living in America, $12,000. Uh, actually, that's bare minimum right there. So $1,000 a month, uh, uh, for is 10% on a $10,000 account. I spend that and then pay it all the way off and that actually boosts my score up a lot and quicker so that would help me get to 800. Now this is the trick. You it once you get your card and you have to spend a minimum of what was it of uh, 5%. So I have to spend a, a minimum of $500 a month and then pay that off fully to actually let my score go up a few points but it's best to do 10% and then 1% it actually keeps your score pretty much around the same if you pay that off fully. All right, so you keep hearing me saying pay it off fully. Okay, you don't want to pay the minimum on the car. You don't want to pay the $25 minimum or the $100 minimum or the $500 minimum on the car. You actually want to pay it off fully if you want to grow your credit card health, okay? If you want to get to that $800, you have to pay it off fully. So do not pay the $25, let that roll over, and then you just pay $25 on it every month until just hit me the minimum requirements to pay off that card you don't want to do that you actually want to pay it off fully uh, completely fully in order for your credit card uh, score for your credit score to go up and I'm really gonna be doing this challenge uh, I'm gonna do at least one video a month well anytime my credit score updates I'm gonna do a video over this you guys are now part of my journey if you want to stay tuned to this journey Go ahead, hit that subscribe and that like button down in the description. Uh, right now, I'm up 18 points since I uh, purchased the card uh, to 712. So right now, it's pretty good. Uh, and once I get the 800s, I already told you guys I'm going to get another credit card. Credit card turned that one, and then also try to apply for some. Well, actually, get a house. <laughs> get some rental properties. Uh, I have good credit scores, so they'll give me a low down payment or they'll give me better interest rate just for having an 800 credit score. So, um, going into and getting these loans with a 300 credit score, mm, my interest rate would probably be pretty high, or they'll tax me on top of that. By tax, I mean they'll hit me over the head by those loans. But if I had the 800 credit score, the banks would trust me more and they'll give me a good interest rate or a great down payment uh, option. But yeah, guys, uh, I told you it's going to be a quick video. This is all I had to give you. Uh, you guys are now part of my journey. By me saying that, that means you need to go ahead and hit that subscribe button down at the bottom. Hit that thumbs up. But yeah, um, my journey from 712, well, actually 709 was where I started. So my journey from 694 to 712 to 800. So I'm going to try to get to 800 by... Okay, I'm trying to get to 800 by the end of the year, if that's even possible. Uh, leave a comment down in the comment section if you think that's even possible to go from 712 to 800 in less than a year, or is it something that's completely doable, or if you have done it before. Uh, leave your credit score down in the description, and then we could talk about how can we make it better, or how amazing you are that you already have an 800 credit score. Uh, yes, I'm talking about you. But um, other than that, this is Zeke the Crypto Miner bringing you another video over credit card turning, the Rails Fargo Propel card, and my journey to the credit score of 800. Other than that, 
I'm out. Peace.